What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today once again we're back with another Destiny 2 video. So I wanted to give an update on the Fabled Black Spindle Exotic, obviously the weapon which hasn't been found just yet and still is unobtainable. We know it's inside the game and it's definitely living up to its Destiny 1 reputation of being a very hidden and secret exotic. But I did find some pretty interesting things about the weapon that I want to tell you guys about to kind of give an update on that front. There are also two very important engram bugs that I want to tell you guys about because some of them are broken. You guys may have heard of one of them but the other one was recently found. I want to make sure you guys aren't losing some of this powerful reward gear as well as that also of course going to be rounding up all the latest news announcements straight from bungie like iron banner how they're changing leveling systems and even the future updates coming to the game so with that being said i hope you all enjoyed today's video if you want to support this channel then hit the like button down below helps out a ton but without further ado let's jump into the first topic so let's begin talking about the black spindle so if you don't know as i've covered before in previous videos the reason we know it's in the game is because of this icon right here this is the masterwork catalyst icon so you can't see the weapon or most of its perks or its icon its stats anything like that but i guess bungie forgot to classify this icon so this is how we know it's in the game we'll talk about what the catalyst version of this weapon does in a second in terms of the original black spindle from destiny one obviously it was a solo sniper but its main perk the entire crux of this weapon was called white nail so rapidly landing three precision hits is going to refill the magazine from your reserves it also had snapshot flared magwell and perfect balance and also mulligan which allows you to sometimes get a bullet back if you miss the shot so focusing on white nail and mulligan now these perks obviously don't exist at all in Destiny 2. There's not a single sniper or weapon for that matter that has Mulligan or White Nail. But with the Warmind DLC, they now have added the perk Mulligan and it's for an exotic trait. So this perk can only be applied to an exotic weapon, obviously Black Spindle. So it's the same as Destiny 1 missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly back to the magazine. So now that leaves the question of White Nail, whereas that perk is in the database. And as it turns out, like most of the weapon, it is actually classified. So currently inside Destiny 2, there are five exotic perks which are hidden. So as you can see, these are the five. Two of them are just normal exotic exotic perks and three of them are actually intrinsic. Intrinsic perks are obviously the main exotic perk of any exotic weapon so take the Darcy for example its main perk is the personal assistant and then pretty much the secondary exotic perk is called a trait so this is why we can see this perk called mulligan as a trait because it would be the trait to black spindle. So without a doubt one of these three classified intrinsic perks for exotics is going to be white nail that's hidden. I really hope they return exactly as it was with no changes and no nerfs because it was a very very powerful weapon. Now the power of the spindle doesn't stop there because we can also see what the masterwork version of this weapon does. I'm sure unlocking this is going to be another hidden thing you have to figure out but the stats are going to be plus 30 reload speed which is a lot but it does get even better from there so when it's masterworked it gets a free perk called box breathing. Aiming this weapon without firing for a brief moment grants bonus range and precision damage while it remains zoomed. If it returns the same this weapon is going to be so so good. The weapon itself has actually been kind of nerfed somewhat in the past when Bungie brought it back. Of course it originates from the legendary weapon Black Hammer which was a Crota's raid sniper and when you got three hits in a row it didn't take the ammo from the reserves it would just spawn ammo out of thin air and you could literally fire infinitely until the thing was dead imagine you could run this and the g-horn at the same time but of course when they did bring it back in the taken king dlc they turned it into an exotic so you can't use this and another exotic as well and funnily enough despite them upgrading it to an exotic they did make it significantly worse by making it take ammo from the reserves and not just infinitely spawn it so i really do hope this classified white nail perk is the same as it was and they don't change it but of course either way with box breathing and the reload speed increase it's going to be very very good as a masterwork now in terms of progress towards getting this weapon we still have literally no idea how to get it i could be wrong but i don't think there's any undiscovered secrets right now in the game i think most of them have been discovered so it would make a lot of sense that bungie are simply time gating the weapon and it's going to be unlocked at some point in the future that of course was the way to get it back in destiny 1 so one day bungie just randomly made the daily mission the lost the light so that of course enabled you to get it there were a lot of hopes and speculations because obviously this week the nightfall strike is strange to the not Chris strike which is most likely to have something to do with the weapon and also the not Chris campaign mission was featured as the meditation from Akura so we'll have to wait and see in terms of getting it but I did want to update you guys in terms of the perks and the masterworks and everything we do know about the weapon and obviously when it is found I will make a video and let you guys know how to get it so stay tuned right here and hopefully it's found soon so moving on to the next topic as I've got this audience eating popcorn watching me I want to let you guys know about some pretty important things to do with engrams and when to and not turn them in so the first one is a very strange and particular bug but again some you may encounter it and I want to try and save you guys from losing stuff but this is if you have nine engrams on your character and also if you're close to leveling up you may encounter this but when you go to turn your milestone from any vendor it's going to give you a ton of xp of course that is going to level you up and also give you a bright engram and then that is going to fill up your engrams 10 out of 10 but of course while doing that at the same time you've just turned in this powerful engram so technically in the game when I take this it counts as it giving me an engram 
and then auto decrypting it. But like I said, that bright engram is going to fill up your slots to be 10 out of 10. And then when the game tries to give you the loot from the engram it auto decrypts, it's going to give you nothing. It actually doesn't go to your postmaster. It doesn't go anywhere. You literally lose the loot. And obviously this powerful loot from milestones is very important. It's pretty much the main way to level up in this game right now. So I know it's not the most common situation, but make sure whatever you do when you're opening your milestones, you don't have nine engrams. Just go to the crypt arc, open them. You shouldn't be saving them anyway because they don't scale with your level. But you leveling up is going to give you a bright engram, which is basically going to go and delete the loot you should get from this. And again, it doesn't go to your postmaster. So it's a bug that Bungie are aware of and hopefully working on, but until they fix it, this is definitely important to know. Now, the second bug to do with engrams you may already be aware of, Bungie have tweeted about it, but in case you missed it, don't turn in this clan XP engram. Even though it does seem to be a luminous engram, it actually isn't, it's broken. And even the fact it's 357, it's not scaling to my current level, which is 366. But if I open this, it's gonna give me 340 gear, so it's not gonna scale at all. Now, what you are supposed to do if you have this is simply leave it and just ignore it. So next Tuesday, when the weekly reset happens, it's gonna auto decrypt for you. And when it does that, it is gonna scale and it's gonna drop you high level stuff. I know it sounds super weird, but simply leave it and next Tuesday, it'll be decrypted and it's gonna drop you appropriate light level gear. So definitely lots of strange bugs, but at least all the other engrams are still fine. So you're of course safe to open these. These do scale with your light level. We got a sniper, which should be good. So we've got a 370 Darcy now and a nice 370 cloak. I think as well, he's got something else for us. He does, he has. Oh, thought of something new, but it's not. Possibly the worst exotic in the entire game. <laughs> but at least it's got a rocket launcher. I can put that into my sins of the past. So that is 71. I'll take that. There's also something I wanted to mention from Amanda Holiday. She does have some kind of new purpose now. And that is that she does stock the Sparrow if you've got all 45 fragments. So you can safely dismantle this if you have it and if you want to get rid of it. And then if you want to get it back, she does sell it. So she does have kind of a little bit of purpose. Still probably does hold the award for most useless spend in the game, but at least it's something. And also something a lot of people don't know, if you get three of the blue quality quality transmat effects you can re-roll them into a random legendary one that's the exact transmat effect they actually wanted but i'm pretty sure this is the one i'm thinking of with the wings it should look pretty cool there you go yeah it's the one weirdly enough i do have three of these but it's not letting me re-roll those it seems similar to the gunsmith bug where it doesn't let you turn in lots of blue mods okay what you got for us hopefully exotic not a new one also in case you didn't know you can get the icloss hand cannon i mean you can buy it from anna bray but you can also get it from k6 apparently let's see if we can get the popcorn emote that would be cool i guess nothing so far just a bunch of stuff i'm never going to use oh huge gift of bright dust i'll take that can't complain that's actually pretty good i'm pretty sure a thousand bright dust is the equivalent of ten dollars i do also have a prismatic facet which i can use in the prismatic matrix such complicated words but hopefully we can get the popcorn emote i mean as a tip you really shouldn't use the prismatic facet until the end of the week this is on a knockout list so these two items are already got and it's not going to give me them these are out of the loop pool so don't be like me and open it now wait until the end of the week wait till you've opened all your bright or prototype engrams get as much of this stuff knocked off and then you have a better chance of the stuff you want but obviously for the video i'll open it anyway so let's see if we can get not the chess piece i wanted not even for the right class i don't know why it reminds me of something from overwatch i also just today did get this ghost shell from the raid finally i've done a lot of raids since the update came out but this is the first time getting it i did get it ages ago on pc but not on console so pretty happy about this thing so i'm currently around 369 as my highest level but i wish i could play the game more i spend most of my day probably around eight hours making videos for you guys so they do take a lot of time to edit and film record and research all that kind of stuff and i also haven't done anything on my other characters in this dlc yet so i could probably be around 380 if I actually play the game a lot and did my other characters. But of course, videos come first. That's what I prioritize my time on. But comment down below, what power level are you guys right now in the DLC and how are you finding it? So moving on, we're going to talk about Iron Banner. So as expected, it is going to be next Tuesday, May 22nd. The game mode is going to be Control and also 6v6. It's going to be exclusively that for all of Season 3. So every single Iron Banner is always going to be 6v6 Control, nothing else. Now Saladin is going to have a new vendor ranking system. So you can actually unlock stuff through directly leveling up and opening these packages. I've shown off all the weapons before, but they're all honestly really, really bad. Like, not even worth talking about, to be honest. I mean, they look okay. Obviously, they're reskins, again, of other weapons, but with this kind of gold, silvery, iron banner stuff all over it. But on the other hand, the armor or the armor ornaments for Season 3, I think are honestly the best yet. I think the iron banner armor sets have gotten progressively better, and this is my favorite by far. This looks amazing. I've shown off individual pieces, but now you can see the full sets rotating what they look like. Comment down below which do you think looks the best, but I personally love the Hunter and also the Warlock. I'm really just not a fan of the Titan and look in Destiny 2 where the shoulders are like bigger than his head. I don't know why every single armor set in Destiny 2, the Titans have enormous shoulders. But that's just me. I know some people do like the big shoulders. Either way, those are the new armor ornaments and I think the design is absolutely amazing. From the image, it appears the max level is going to be 35, which isn't too crazy. It's definitely obtainable. And there's a legendary ship as a reward called the Esfra Triumph, which is very cool looking. I do love this kind of fighter jet style of ship they brought in this DLC. As I mentioned before, there is actually a new holographic exotic emote tied to Iron Banner, so it's not in Saladin's inventory 
inventory and I assume it's an RNG drop after games or maybe a secret or whatever knocking it. Maybe there's a challenge to unlock it. Who knows? But it's called the Salute of the Iron Lords. Now Bungie also gave some notes on things they want to do to the end game and fix a couple systems. So these two things are going to be inside the May 29th update. So Escalation Protocol key fragments will be a 100% drop rate from Heroic Strikes. And also Heroic Strikes will drop better rewards up to 360. So obviously if you're above that, it's still not massively important. But for people below 360, they're going to help you towards that. In terms of other stuff, this was actually really interesting. So they said they wanted to smooth the transition into endgame. Currently, there's a massive brick wall when you hit 345. So they want to smooth it out a bit, not make the game easier or slow down the grind. But they want to kind of smooth out the transition a bit. So it's not just all of a sudden getting loads of loot and the next second you're getting just nothing. They also said once milestones are complete, there aren't enough rewards to chase. So exotic masterworks are a little bit of a help towards that. But they also acknowledge this definitely isn't enough. So they're working on more stuff. They did very interestingly say that weapon randomization and records should help this a lot more once obviously releases in September. But it's something nonetheless they are very aware of and trying to fix. Bungie also think endgame progression needs more tiers. And also that the quality of rewards doesn't always match the difficulty of the activity. We're seeing a lot of this feedback around the raid layer. Which yes, 100% the new Warmind raid layer is the most difficult activity in the game. It is so difficult and it's probably the least rewarding one. So it's definitely a shame. You've got a sidearm and a fusion rifle which are both very average, nothing raid tier quality in my opinion. And also of course the armor sets are complete reskins of the first raid layer. So the loot is just completely in a different league to the difficulty of the activity. But thankfully Bungie are aware of this and they're going to work on doing something for it soon. So yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Of course, if you enjoyed it and want to support this channel, then hit the like button down below it is massively appreciated. As always, we're not slowing down. I've got lots more videos on the way to this channel. Make sure you are subscribed if you aren't already. If you want to watch a video I just made talking about a bunch of hidden exotics and also new strike loot and even more Destiny news, click this image on screen right now. But with that being said, I appreciate all of you guys and your constant support and I'll see you all in the next one.